Greetings, minions. Pibbling Z here, and I'm happy to see you here. I hope you're happy to be back. Um, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing all right. I got a little bit of a back issue, so I don't know how long this video will be or anything, but the important thing is I'm here, you're here, we're here, and we're not writing. No, that's not the important thing. Actually, that kind of brings me to my point. I've been waiting a while to talk about this, which is really funny because today we're going to talk about procrastination. If you look up writer in Webster's Dictionary, you'll see procrastinator as the definition. You won't. Don't look. It's fine. We all procrastinate, whether it's playing on the internet, watching YouTube videos, making YouTube videos, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, we all do it. Uh, I always tell all of my friends and my family, too, that a writer will do virtually anything but write, but they'll think about writing the entire time. So we like to procrastinate because it's it's a difficult thing to face the page sometimes. Not that we necessarily like to procrastinate, but we do procrastinate. And if you procrastinate, then don't don't worry, you're totally normal. I'm definitely one of those people that falls in that category. I tend to find anything but writing to do when I'm really under pressure to write. I love to write. It is fantastic. It fulfills me. It fills my soul. But the thing is, it's really hard sometimes to face. And sometimes it's so much easier to look at pictures of cats, you know, or pet cats, or, you know, drink Starbucks or drink Starbucks while you're petting cats, but not pet Starbucks because that's weird. But yeah, it's, it's really easy to procrastinate, to fall into that. The key is to let yourself be in that moment. My therapist once told me that when you experience an emotion, you should really fully immerse yourself in it. Like if you're experiencing a moment of sadness, if you're experiencing a moment of joy, really let yourself feel the emotion. I feel the same way about procrastination. I feel like if you're in that moment of being distracted, that you really should just give yourself a little while just to indulge, just to go, you know what? I'm gonna spend an hour and I'm just gonna do whatever it is that's distracting me. I'm gonna look at YouTube. I'm gonna look at cat pics. It's all gonna be good, but after an hour, I'm gonna give it up and get back to work. And I think that's important because it kind of keeps us sane. You know, you have to have balance in all things. I mean, look at Fang. He's got balance in all things, largely because he's a kitty, and kitties have great balance. So I, uh, I wish I could tell you guys not to procrastinate or give you ways not to. I Unfortunately, I can't because there's really no cure for it. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Like hand you a magic pill? I, I wish I could, but I don't have any magic pills. However, I'm going to give you permission to procrastinate. It's okay. You're writing, right? You're a writer, odds are if you're watching this, you're probably a writer, you're at least a reader. And if you have other things going on, be it writing or be whatever it is, take a break right now, okay? Take a break, take an hour, take a half hour, take a half day and just indulge yourself, take care of yourself, do some self care, but then get back to work twice as hard as you did before. This is one of my favorite things to do when I'm procrastinating annoy the hell out of Fang, because you see, he really, really loves it. Look at his face, he's so happy. He doesn't love it, he's not happy. But that's okay, because it fulfilled me, it made me happy, and that's all that matters. <laughs> he's very, very angry right now. If you haven't heard, I am giving away a Vladimir Todd hoodie, and I'm so excited. This is something I've been hoarding since 2013, or maybe earlier, and I've been holding on to it. It is the last Vlad Todd hoodie that I know of new in existence. It has earbuds, so you can listen to your tunes. It, on the back, it has a patch that says High School Bites. On the front, of course, is the red smiley face, and it's the one featured on the cover of Eighth Grade Bites. I'm so, so excited about giving it away. All you have to do, of course, is subscribe to my channel. Go and find a friend, find a librarian, find a family member, find whoever. Have them come and subscribe to my channel. And on any video, each of you comment and list each other's names. And then you're entered. The contest ends November 30th, so get to it. Because we're getting closer and closer every single day. And I'm super excited to give this away to one very special minion. So, what are you doing? Get out of here. Go procrastinate. That's on your to-do list, which is a little weird, but now it's on my to-do list too. Don't forget, Pibbling Z loves you.